Why not? Stark Tower's a beauty, isn't she? I consider her one of my greatest achievements. No problem. Our little task force needed a base, so it seemed like the thing to do. I wasn't worried about the cost. That is, until S.H.I.E.L.D. and I had our little... disagreement. More like they had trouble with me. I wanted out of the weapons business. I can't tell you how many breach of contract suits they filed. That was just the beginning. Suddenly I had trouble getting building permits, filing patents. Uh, don't get me started on how my taxes changed. I'm not sure exactly. One morning I realized I needed to do more than just amass wealth. I wanted to help people, and weapons aren't that helpful. You really don't need that many billions to get by. No, my life's taking a new course. I want to be remembered for helping lives, not destroying them. Anytime, my friend. Any time at all. I know seeing the Super Soldier Project has raised some concerns about S.H.I.E.L.D., but let's get all the facts before we cause any trouble. I think S.H.I.E.L.D. has a lot to deal with, and sometimes it makes mistakes, but historically it's done a great job of keeping the peace. I saw they were testing out a new version of the Super Soldier Serum, the same type of drug that gave me my strength and agility. Yes, during World War II I volunteered for Operation Rebirth. It was a program for creating physically superior soldiers. I exceeded their expectations. Unfortunately, Dr. Erskine, the man who developed the drugs, was killed, and no one's been able to recreate his work. I have to admit, things sound kind of suspicious. Like, why was she carrying that laptop during the attack on the helicarrier? No, I'd need a lot more evidence before I'd say something like that about the Black Widow. Anytime, friend. Sure. The Black Widow is up to something, I just know it. Did you see how nervous she was on the helicarrier? Sure looks like it. She must have been trying to get that laptop to the enemy during the helicarrier battle. Yes. That laptop shows all security systems for the building. And from the looks of those systems, the Imperium must hold something valuable. Not yet. She's his second in command. We're going to need some pretty strong evidence to shake Fury's faith in her. Yes. Colonel Fury's trust doesn't come easily, and once given, it's nearly impossible to break. Okay, so Daredevil and I were close several years back, and the Black Widow and Daredevil were close not so long ago. No, I'm not. I'm long over Daredevil. If he can find happiness with the Black Widow, I wish them both the best.
You're welcome. I've heard people complaining about shields since we got back from the Omega. I'm telling you, it's gotta stop. I trust Nick Fury. He's pulled my fat out of the fire more times than I can remember. Look, Fury does what he has to to keep the world safe. He ain't always got the luxury of playing by the rules. I've known her for a while. She's always been good in a fight. And Fury trusts her. Unless that meathead weasel comes up with better evidence, I ain't believing nothing against the Black Widow. Of course I am. He's been loyal to me. After all the trouble I had with the Hand recently, I owe Fury my life a dozen times over. Let's just say that evil bunch of psychos got hold of me and turned me into their assassin. It caused a lot of people a lot of pain. But Fury helped me out. Kept me alive. And I'll never forget that. Sure thing, bub. Welcome, my friend. Do you require information? Namor is the first known hybrid of Homo sapiens and Homo mermanus, humans and merpeople. He can breathe water and air, but if he's away from water too long, he will begin to weaken. As with most merpeople, he has an inborn distrust of surface dwellers, and true to his belligerent nature, Namor can take his distrust to the extreme. The Atlanteans are distant cousins to your race. Having evolved on the ocean floor, it is impossible for them to breathe air. Because they live in the extreme conditions of the ocean, mer people are very hardy. They are stronger than humans can swim up to 30 miles per hour and live to be over 150 years of age. I am glad to be of assistance. Johnny Storm would like you to know that today is Ben Grimm's 65th birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Grimm. Could I ask a big favor of you? Would you ask Dr. Pym if he could take a look at the Quinjet's data feed to Stark Tower? It cuts out every once in a while. Mr. Stark, any time at all, friend. Hi, it's good to see you. Do you need something? Ah, that's right. The Quinjet's comm line to the Stark Tower was cutting out. I'll take care of that right away. Ah, there's no problem at all. Hi, it's good to see you. Listen up, people. We've been sent here to investigate a situation in Atlantis. What kind of situation are we talking about here, Cap? 
An hour ago, Namorita sent a message saying a riot's taking place. A crowd broke into the throne room of Atlantis and dragged Namor off his throne. Why would the Atlanteans riot? They love Namor. I don't know. Namorita had to stop transmitting before she could give any details. How are we to handle a mission in the undersea conditions of Atlantis? There's nanotechnology at this outpost that will let us breathe and move normally through the water. I want to remind you, the Atlanteans aren't exactly big fans of us surface dwellers. What if they become violent? Defend yourselves. We have to help Namor any way we can. He's a valuable ally. That's it. Let's be careful out there. Good. Locate the nano chamber and activate it. Once the nanites are in your bloodstream, you're free to enter the water. Sure. our home. Say so. Oh, 
destroy the Tresspel! Namor, you okay? You're not looking so good. Gone, X-Men. I do not require your aid. My people need me. I must save them. I hate to say it, but you look like the one who needs saving. Namor, you have to rest. Here, take this medicine. Don't worry, Iceman. The drugs only rendered him unconscious. Whoa, is he gonna be mad when he wakes up, huh? True. But right now you must go to the Temple of Negretti. There you'll find plants that will help me heal Namor. That'd be cool. Have you got any idea what's going on around here, though? I, why is everybody so loco? My people are being brainwashed by devices called sonic emitters. With them, Atuma was able to take the throne of Atlantis. Well, don't let a frown wrinkle that pretty face, Namorita. We'll take care of the Sonic emitters and get rid of Atuma. trained to protect the temple against all invaders, surface dwellers in particular. You need to find an extremely rare plant known as Whalic Seaweed. It's very valuable and will be well protected. If you say so. Negretti, take it. The priests of the temple use them to open locks.
sure thing. Sure thing. thing. Of course. doesn't last long after it's picked. 
Let me open up a whirlpool for you. It'll bring you right back to my location. Namorita, here's the ingredients you asked for. How's Namor? He'll be much better now that I have this. What has happened? And what are you doing here, Sue Richards? We came to help you, Namor. Your old enemy, Atuma, has stolen your throne and enslaved Atlantis. Though I am pleased to see you, I have no need for your help. I am quite capable of dealing with Atuma on my own. You're still very weak. Please, just this once, let us help you. Atlantis is my responsibility. I'll not let outsiders protect her. We've been friends a long time, Namor. Trust me when I say that you need to rest. Let us handle Atuma. I do value your counsel, Sue. For you are as wise as you are beautiful. And though I am loath to admit it, I am not at the peak of my strength. Very well. I will allow it. Once again, Sue, you have proven to be one of the few surface dwellers I consider a friend. Perhaps there is some way I can thank you. You don't have to thank me, Namor. Just be sure to get some rest. Come on, team. Let's find Atuma and set Atlantis free. You're near the sonic emitters. They're what's making the Atlanteans so violent. Be very careful now. Atuma would not leave the devices unguarded. Yeah, sure. Stop the humans! Give me a hand with this creep! Right. Galactic might! How is this possible? Give me a hand with this creep! Certainly. I believe these surface dwellers intend on destroying the sonic emitters, Krang. Then these humans are as foolish as they are weak, my cousin. They stand no chance against our combined might. True, but I do savor a chance for battle. I grow bored guarding these devices. As do I. But acting as guards has put us in Atuma's good graces. And that puts us near the throne. Ha ha ha. And down the road. Who is to say what might happen to King Atuma, eh, cousin? My feelings exactly. Now let us dispose of these interlopers and prove to Atuma just how trustworthy we are. Now you will die. <laughs> Sure thing. Why not? Of course. I cannot. 
not defeat this one alone. Keep together, team. You need help? All right. Rest. Never leave here alive. Help me. Destroy the trespassers! Give me some help with this one! Attack my target! Keep close, team! I've got some help here! Attack my target! Saved my life. I am forever in your debt. No, I must repay you. Here is the combination to a safe located in a nearby sunken submarine. Please, use it and take whatever you find. Now you will die, human! return to normal. Now you should get to the throne room of Atlantis as fast as you can. Yes, and who knows what he'll do when he finds out you're ruining his plans. Go 
Your defeat brings me no joy. Go no further, surface dweller! Why not? 